Hi, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, we're talking today about tacos, in particular hard tacos. You ever have this problem when you eat a hard taco, you're holding the taco vertically, you yeah. fill it, you go to eat it, you turn it on its side, what often happens? It all falls out. Everything comes out. Everything comes out. It all falls out. It all falls out. I couldn't have said it better myself. I'm at Number 7 Restaurant in Brooklyn with Chef Tyler Cord. He's also the man behind Number 7 Sub and a cookbook called Broccoli. Hey, Tyler. How you doing? Now, the hard tacos, they shatter, as we know. One of the most common solutions is the double-decker taco. Wrap the hard taco in a soft taco and fuse them together with something, often refried beans or melted cheese. Now, you're famous for your double-decker broccoli tacos, which take a pretty different approach. Tell me about it. Instead of a of refried beans, we use a black bean hummus to hold the tortillas together, which is still beans, but it adds kind of a nicer uh, garlicky, lemony sweetness. I actually dreamed up a little something here myself, Tyler, which is uh, sort of a Thai-style situation. We get pulled chicken, scallions, and then I use a peanut butter and sesame oil combination as my fusion. What do you think of that? That sounds weird. <laughs> What's weird about it? I know, it sounds great. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, either approach, either situation, I think you're talking about two tacos here that are shattered. All right, Tyler, next issue is you fill the hard taco vertically, you turn it on its side to eat it, the stuff falls out. Now you have a solution for this with your double-decker broccoli taco. I want you to show it to me. I'm going to follow along using traditional taco ingredients. Sure. All right. I discovered early on that while it looks really pretty to have everything sprinkled on top, it isn't so functional. So we put the feta cheese on the bottom. All right, cheese first. Okay. And then our broccoli, which is kind of the main filling, sandwiches it in. It's a little more wet, it's a little more heavy. And I'm putting shredded cheese, onions, and tomatoes down on the bottom, and I'm gonna put the ground beef on top. And I think you're right that it's gonna help hold things in place here. I think it's gonna solve that problem for you. This is what it looks like here. Let's see how it stands up to the bite test. This is an upside down method with the meat on top of the fillings to add pressure and liquid to keep the, the lettuce, the cheese and whatnot inside the taco. Got that? Yes, I do. All right, give it a shot. It works. It didn't fall all over me. I don't see nothing slipping out. No spilling, that was good. I didn't get so much meat though. That is a valid concern, Hillary. I'm glad you pointed that out. The structural integrity is impeccable. But the issue is that because this was all vegetables and cheese, my first bite from the corner had no meat in it. All right, so I am cooling off. It's your technique here, Tyler. I know them's fighting words, but I think I got a better idea. Try this on. I'm gonna mix all the taco ingredients together into a bowl before putting them into the taco. That way, nothing will fall out and I'll get all the ingredients in each bite. What do you think? I don't know, it just sounds boring to me. Once you've mixed everything together and you put it in there, then every bite is exactly the same, which I realize is what you're going for, um, but that sounds like a bummer to me. It seems to me, Tyler, that we've stumbled into a classic debate, a timeless one, the debate between bite consistency and bite variety. Do you want every bite of your taco to have all the ingredients, or do you want some bites to be heavy on beef and some bites to be heavy on cheese? I want all my bites to have all the ingredients, because to me, taco is a cohesive experience. I respect your philosophy, Tyler, but I want you to take it, take one bite of this. Do you, do you want it from the side, do you want it from the top? Take it from anywhere, because they're all gonna have everything. You don't need to right, overthink that's it. that's fair. It's good. I'm not gonna change the way I make tacos, but, uh, but nice work. All right, fair enough. Well, Tyler Cord, uh, Double Decker Broccoli Tacos. You want the recipe? You can get it right now at cookingchannel.tv.com slash you're eating it wrong. Tyler, I didn't change your mind, but I'm gonna go see if I can change some others. Now this one, we've mixed all the fillings together for you. Oh, wow. What was that? I said, oh wow. That's the correct reaction. Very good. Much better. More cheese, more meat. It was a well-rounded bite. I feel like I got everything. Alonzo, I noticed that you're wearing a reflective vest. Am I correct in guessing that you work in the construction field? Right, exactly. So tell me, I would like you to evaluate this taco. How is it constructed? Well constructed. 